Are you in love with football? And what about sports betting? Do you want to earn really big money from it? Experts of BetFAC prepare dozens of solid and safe predictions with high odds every day, so you can win a lot and stably. Just sign up through the link in the description and punish your bookie. Alberto Moreno has made a quick recovery from a hamstring injury and new recruits Matip and Drojic. Mascherano and Busquets are reintroduced into the starting 11. All eyes on Luis Suarez against his old club. Centre spot for the kickoff as Firmino for Liverpool gets the game underway. Trying to get them off to a bright start here. And the ball breaks back early and an early check. Gives him plenty of width on this right hand side. Clever bit of forward, little give and go. He's just about on side, but the important thing is when he gets into a crossing position, he puts the ball into the box. It's a slightly difficult volley actually for Vinaldo as it breaks forward and support Mane, Coutinho, and Firmino. Urban Club spending has been up near the 70 million pounds. They've got Chan back there, the two centre halves are split. They're keeping the ball fairly comfortably, but they will be under pressure because Suarez and Messi, we know. Will... No worries about neutrality in pre season with an Englishman in charge, Martin Atkinson, who was one of the English officials. On here back to Turan. First time from Busquets, trying to release Turan, just puts too much on it. Just not too heavy with that forward ball, but individually, collectively, Liverpool really have to concentrate as they play such patient football, Barcelona. If you caught ball watching or you go to sleep, any lapse in concentration. Instead, it's Firmino. Malala again. Chance for Firmino! Well, his Liverpool career can't get off to a much better start than that. Scoring against Barcelona. Well, Liverpool, for me, fully deserved the lead. It's an excellent first touch. I just wondered whether there's a hint of offside in this. But again, look at the pressure on the ball from the Lana. It's been the story, really, for the first 20 minutes of the game. And Firmino does ever so well to get this ball back to the Lana. But the first touch... Held through to Messi. Oh, he's hit the post! Piece of Barcelona type football we've really seen in this first half. Zippy passing. He cushions that ball in behind. Superhuman ability to be able to control the ball, however it's played at him, whatever the pace is, wherever it arrives at his body. Just adjusts it, manipulates the ball, sets himself up to get the shot in. I just think it's purely the fact it's on his left foot, his natural left foot. He's always going to draw that ball away towards the far post rather than inside it. What can the Argentine magician produce from this? After the goalkeeper. And it's a very good piece of positive keeping, actually, from Simon Mignolet. Messi does the right thing, he plays the ball into a corridor for his teammates to attack, but the keeper's always on the move. As soon as it leaves Messi's foot, the keeper's on the move. Denis Suarez to Messi. And a deflected shot that Mignolet has to keep out. Turan denied. And it's actually James Miller who eventually slides in to get a really timely challenge in, but Mignolet does brilliantly with a deflection that could easily have skipped past the keeper. Lose any part of your body as a goalkeeper to keep it out again. Losing out to Philip Coutinho. Just couldn't find the finish. Oh, he just gets too excited at the most important point when he needed some composure. But it all came from Mignolet putting his foot through the ball. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to play intricate football to create opportunity. Uses Philip Coutinho. Firmino. Time again. The opportunities they've had Liverpool, it could have been two or three to the good. Stepping in at just the right time. Oh, he's got away from James Milner. Luis Suarez. And still. And it just I don't know about the brilliance of Lionel Messi, but how about his strength as well? Just to shrug off James Milner, who's strong himself, stays on his feet. It's unselfish work from Messi as well, trying to pick out Luis Suarez. And that's exactly really what Lovren wants. He wants that ball pulled back. He's Bent round by Munir to Luis Suarez, and Mignolet denies his old teammate. And James Milner gets caught out badly here because this ball is always going to be played towards Luis Suarez. He's in between Milner and he's Lovren at that fast stick. Can Liverpool use it to their advantage? No, he's offside. Will he then go? He's got his head down, he's only thinking of the space ahead of him. Just drops slightly deeper and then use that acceleration to get in behind defenders because they aren't going to catch him. 
Rodrigo and Messi had an attempt that hit the post, but it is Mane's goal that's the difference to make it Liverpool 1, Barcelona 0 at the break. And quality of opposition, uh, who they're up against in terms of pre-season. It's been a bit up and down in uh, Liverpool's pre-season in terms of... Putting pressure really high as a team. They suffered in the last, I would say, 15 minutes of the first half, but they are getting the ball. Three as well. Stewart will be on for the second half as well, so Alej Vidal at right back. So the change is not quite as widespread in the Barcelona for auditioning. And the vacancy left behind by Dani Alves. And Sadio Mane, Origi, Mane is onside and Henderson's in there! And what a start to the second half for Liverpool and for Henderson who's just come on. Mane involved again. As Liverpool cut Barcelona apart. It really is self-inflicted. Barcelona defensively, it's absolutely awful the way that they give the ball away so cheaply here. One player you don't want to give it to is Mane. Such a clever piece of play here from Origi. And Mane does the right thing, he remains onside. Could easily have gone too early. He remains onside. With an own goal. We saw at the start of the game, the pressure on the ball from Liverpool. They're doing it again in a second. And Barcelona have been cut apart again. It's Origi through the middle this time. And as easy as that, it's 3-0. Luis Enrique will be a worried man because that was too easy for Liverpool. The Barcelona defence just parted and Origi went straight through the middle. Well, there's never in any doubt that Origi was going to tuck this home, but it's suicidal again from Barcelona. So unlike them to give the ball away cheaply to the opposition. But once again, look at the pressure on the ball. Stewart stepping in there to win it back high. Here's Munir. Stewart as Liverpool are flying again. Suarez. To the outside of Clavan. Fired through by Stewart first time to Firmino. Is he going to take it himself? He is. And he misses the target. Well, he had two choices. If he lays it off early, he plays Mane in. If he takes a couple of touches, he's got to really shoot himself. But again, look at the pressure on the ball. Lionel Messi under pressure, giving it away. Mascherano caught out badly here, but if he plays it early enough, then Manny's maybe in. But once you take it on, you've got to take the shot. Return by Munir to get away from Klein. Can he get away from Lovren as well? Initial block. And a raised boot. Which gives Liverpool a free kick. I've been really impressed with both Klavan and Lovren. They've really read the game exceptionally well when their fullbacks have been caught out. Just a pacey wide player, he can drop in field, drop his shoulder. It's great balance. But the Liverpool fans will have really enjoyed what they've seen of this man. Sadio Mane is driven across by Sergio Roberto and good block from Lovren. Luis Suarez was on the follow-up and then it's steered wide. Munir is offside anyway. And it's a great piece of defending from Lovren. He really has had a terrific afternoon as well. Sometimes you can't make challenges, you have to just block the ball. It was goal bound here for him. He's off to be replaced by Rafa Mojica. He shows the draw of Barcelona's second crowd with just under 90,000. Second lot. And his rectitude takes. And before PK can get there, Stewart does. Colin Stewart has been absolutely outstanding. That's great reading of the game. It's a wonderful ball in from Rakitic into a dangerous area. Great appreciation. Oh, some uh, food for thought for him. Here's Sampa. That's Munir. Alfaro was in, cuts it back from the Hika. And the thing is, he's trying to stretch to get this ball, that forward ball from Iniesta. He's on the stretch there, Lovren, trying to reach it. And he just twangs a hamstring, and that is a major. He's trying to get there to help him. He has now. That's a decent header, oh, what a way to finish it off for Grujic. The perfect ending for Liverpool to a memorable day for them at Wembley. Well, this is the icing on the cake. It's a magnificent header, but where does it all stem from? Jordan Henderson 
closing down Andres Iniesta and then things happening for Divock Origi. There's the challenge in central midfield. How many times have Liverpool done that today? And then suddenly Origi is away. It looks like it was a new Premier League season approaching. It was Barcelona who needed to win by four clear goals to win the International Champions Cup. It's Liverpool who've won by four clear goals. Mane, an own goal from Mascherano. Divock Origi had crowned with that wonderful header from Marco Groyic. Welcome to the new Camp, it's the last 16 of the Champions League, the first leg, the reigning European champions, Barcelona, they've won the European Cup twice against five-time winners, Liverpool, last time they won at the new Camp, they became the first and so far only English side to win here, thanks to a goal. He's won the battle with Gerrard, Zambrotta's cross, Kick taken quickly by Alonso. Space for Finnan. It's a measured cross. Pays it It's in. Don't count to make sure he It's a beautiful ball to go. It's got the first off. This is the best. Alves has made the save. Now take that. Be good for Alves. Time. Waste some seconds. The referee is on a little look at his watch. Steps up to take the penalty. Gary McAllister. 